is your local election headquarters, and it is primary day in Massachusetts. Today, voters are going to the polls to decide on the Democratic or Republican nominees for a number of races. And the polls were open until 8 o'clock tonight, so if you haven't voted yet, you still have time. Governor Charlie Baker is seeking a second term. He's There's video right here of him casting his ballot in Boston this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live outside a polling location in Fall River with more election coverage. Steph? We are at Fall River City Hall. There are two voting precincts inside here. At last check, both had less than 10% turnout, but there are still three hours left for voters to get to the polls in Massachusetts. One of the most popular governors in America, Charlie Baker, is running for re-election in Massachusetts and is expected to sail through, but first facing a Republican primary challenge from a pro-Trump pastor named Scott Lively. Married couple Barbara Andrade and Al Doherty say they're supporting Baker. I think he's been great. But Michael Makura says he voted for Lively because he's not a fan of Baker. A little bit too liberal for a Republican, in my opinion. The winner of that primary will face either Jay Gonzalez or Bob Massey, who are facing off today in the Democratic primary for governor. A U.S. Senate seat is also on the ballot in Massachusetts. Elizabeth Warren, thought to be a possible 2020 presidential candidate, is running unopposed on the Democratic side. Her Republican challenger will be either Beth Lindstrom, Jeff Deal, or John Kingston. The Secretary of State's race has been heated this year. Longtime Democratic incumbent Bill Galvin has had the job for more than two Two decades, but Boston City Councilman Josh Zakem is challenging him in the primary, arguing he is more progressive. There were concerns about low turnout because of the primary date being the day after Labor Day. Andrade says nothing keeps her from the polls. We absolutely have to vote. Everybody has to vote. No matter what the circumstances, no matter what the party affiliation, everyone has to vote. And you have three more hours to vote. The polls close again at 8 o'clock here in Massachusetts. Coming up new at 6, we'll take a look at the race for U.S. Congress, the seat currently held by Joe Kennedy. Live in Fall River, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Thank you all. Eyewitness News is your local election headquarters, and today is primary day in Massachusetts. Polls are open for another couple of hours. Voters will be narrowing the field of candidates in several races, including governor and the U.S. House seat currently held by Joe Kennedy. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live from Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. If you haven't made it to the polls yet, there is still two hours left to vote to pick the nominees for governor, Senate, Congress, and more here in Southeastern Mass. A different date than usual for the Massachusetts primary, the day after Labor Day. But a change in schedule doesn't deter Barbara Andrade in Fall River. Everybody has to vote. No matter what the circumstances, no matter what the party affiliation, everyone has to vote. U.S. Congressman Joe Kennedy visiting Fall River today as he campaigns for a fourth term representing the fourth district. We're making sure that everybody in this country gets access to quality, affordable health care, period. Making sure that we are doing more, that we have an immigration policy that is reflective of our values. We caught up with him at the Portugalia Marketplace. Just a treasure in the community. It celebrates the uh, Fall River's heritage um, celebrates its future. His primary challenger is Gary Rosinski, who works in the tech field. He's running on a platform of climate change. The governor's race this year features incumbent Republican Charlie Baker, a critic of President Trump, versus pro-Trump pastor Scott Lively. The winner of that race will face off against the winner of the Democratic primary, either Jay Gonzalez or Bob Massey. And U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren's term is also up this year. She is running for re-election unopposed in the Democratic primary. Tonight we will learn who her Republican challenger will be. Again, two more hours to vote, and we'll see you now on Eyewitness News for the results. Live in Fall River, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. And your local election headquarters is looking ahead to the Rhode Island primaries next week. Join us tomorrow night for a live Republican gubernatorial primary debate. We'll be asking the important questions live in our studio at 6.30 on Fox Providence.